Hydrogen is interesting. It can be made a lot of different ways. There's a lot of domestic resources that can be used to make hydrogen. Any source of electricity can be used to make hydrogen from water. Hydrogen can also be made through a lot of biomass pathways. And right now it's made a lot from natural gas, which is not ultimately sustainable, but it's sort of a bridge technology to potentially getting to cleaner sources of hydrogen in the future. To get hydrogen from water, we can use electricity to break the chemical bonds between oxygen and hydrogen. This process is called electrolysis. Hydrogenics is a global leader in the development of fuel cells and on-site hydrogen generation. We can provide the hydrogen stations that produce the hydrogen. The process starts with the electrolyzer. That's where we make the hydrogen. We take city water and we purify it and put that inside our electrolyzers. From then, uh, the water is electrolyzed. Uh, we produce hydrogen and oxygen. Oxygen is vented and hydrogen is captured. It is then purified um, through our dryer and purifier. The purifier removes any trace oxygen inside the hydrogen stream, and the dryer removes any moisture um, that was uh, left over from the electrolysis process. The gas comes out at about 150 psi. From then on, it's compressed to 6,000 psi, where it's stored into storage tanks. From the storage tanks, uh, the gas is diverted into the dispenser. Most of the hydrogen we have today comes from natural gas through a process called steam methane reforming. I would say about 90% of the world's hydrogen comes from fossil fuels, from reforming natural gas. For that, you need the capital cost of millions of dollars to create your plant and you produce thousands of, of kilograms in one day. We can get hydrogen from coal through gasification. We've been using coal in this country for many, many years, and primarily it's been combusted. We burn the coal and we essentially convert it entirely to heat. In a gasification system, we convert coal to something very similar to natural gas. Then that natural gas has an extremely high hydrogen content, and we can then take that and either manipulate it to pure hydrogen, or we can even produce liquid fuels from it. Gasification has the promise of being one of the few sources that we can use to produce very, very large quantities of hydrogen. So as we transition to a hydrogen economy, coal is one of those domestic resources that can really step in. We believe very strongly that coal must remain a part of our energy future. And in order to do that, we have to find the technologies to utilize it more efficiently and effectively. We're convinced that uh, because of our experience and, and knowledge that we've gained from our Dakota gasification project, that we have a way in which to find a solution to this very challenging issue for our continued ability to utilize coal. Hydrogen today is something we look to for the future. If you want to talk about renewables, you've got to find a way in which to store the energy. Because electrical energy has to be used at the time it's produced. And with renewables, you don't have that opportunity. Because when the wind is blowing, you may not have the load. And so if you're producing it, how do we store it? The hydrogen concept is one of those opportunities. Funding provided by the U.S. Department of Energy's National Energy Technology Laboratory, the Energy and Environmental Research Center's National Center for Hydrogen Technology, and the members of Prairie Public.